In this video, we'll balance the equation for AgNO3 plus K2S, silver nitrate plus potassium sulfide. This is a double replacement reaction. The silver goes with the sulfur, we get our Ag2S, and then the potassium ion, that goes with the nitrate ion, we get potassium nitrate. So to balance it, let's count the atoms up. We have one silver atom, and when I have these double displacement reactions, I have a nitrate and a nitrate here. This is a polyatomic ion, it stays together. So I like to count it as just one thing when I balance equations, it's a lot quicker. You can split it up, look at the nitrogen and the oxygen and you'll get the same answer, it's just it's a little more challenging. Two potassium, one sulfur. Product side, two silver, one nitrate, one potassium and one sulfur. So by doing it that way, it just makes things a lot neater. I can see I need a two in front of my AgNO3, one times two, That'll balance the silver atoms. Now I have one times two, two nitrates. But I could put a two here in front of the KNO3, two times the one potassium. So I have one nitrate times two. That'll balance the nitrates. One potassium times two. That'll give me two of those. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see the utility of counting these polyatomic ions is one thing if they're on both sides of the equation. With more complicated double displacement reactions, it's even much more important to do this. This is Dr. V with the balanced equation for AgNO3 plus K2S. Thanks for watching.